If a doctor makes a serious careless mistake while operating on you, or a nurse at the nursing home mixes up your medications, you should have a right to compensation, right? Not necessarily. In Ohio, the legislature has put caps on the amount you can collect for your malpractice injuries. Here to explain is my law partner who never makes a mistake, Mike Solomon. Hi, Lori. <laughs> Hi, Mike. So tell us about malpractice compensation in Ohio. Well, you know, there are two types of compensation, economic compensation and non-economic. Economic is, uh, you know, medical expenses you may have incurred or, or lost current income or lost future income. Non-economic are you know, pain and suffering, uh, emotional distress, or even loss of enjoyment of life. So that's that. Okay. The, the money and the emotions that's part. That's correct. So what are the caps? Well, economic, there are no caps. So you know, whatever your damages are for lost income, et cetera, you know, that's there's no cap on that. But non-economic distress, for example, or pain and suffering, there is a cap of three hundred and fifty thousand per individual. Okay. So what does that mean for older folks? Well, the law is tougher on older people, especially if you're retired. I mean, the, the economic damages, lost future income, let's say, an older person who isn't working is not going to have a lost future income from an injury. And the other one that they can get, distress, uh, pain and suffering, for example, that's capped. Mm. So are these caps, they sound pretty awful, are they constitutional? Well, Florida passed a law similar to Ohio's, putting a cap on, on uh, you know, emotional distress sort of claims. and, and Recently, the Florida Supreme Court has ruled that that is unconstitutional. Now, how that will impact Ohio law, obviously we're going to have to find out and see, but that's what so far has happened in Florida. That sounds at least a step in the right direction for our, our, for our seniors. That's for sure, for seniors. You know, that's why I've always heard that old, you know, seniors aren't worth very much, and it, unfortunately it sounds uh, like that might well, be Well, economically, it's a, t a hard thing to tell somebody, I but know. if someone's very old and, and, and you're just looking at economic damages, if it's just economic, and their future loss of earnings is, is probably very little. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you or your parent suffers harm due to the malpractice of a doctor, nurse, or nursing home, Ohio's law limits the amount of compensation available. That's currently the law in Ohio. If you disagree with the law, contact your state legislator or the governor's office and tell them to change the law and lift the caps. We'll be right back. Call Budish, Solomon, Steiner, and Peck at 1-888-236-5173 for more information or to schedule a speaker for your organization. Or log on to www.bssplaw.com. Thanks for joining us. On next week's show, meet Charles Ramsey, the man who opened the door for freedom for three women held captive for a decade. Then we'll make it our policy to help you understand your health care coverage. Plus, we'll offer advice on investing your dollars in a way that makes financial sense. And we'll prescribe a healthy dose of medical news that you can use. But until then, please remember to make the most of your golden opportunities. Would you like to join our kitchen conversation? All you have to do is call toll-free 1-877-765-1543 and leave us your question, name, and phone number. Or log on to www.golden.tv for all the latest information and show updates.